Welcome to Atlanta's Olympic Stadium for the opening ceremony of these Centennial Olympic Games. It all began when the bomb exploded in Atlanta's Centennial Olympic Park, 1996. Richard Jewell was working as a private security guard there. He spotted a suspicious backpack, which turned out to be a 40-pound pipe bomb. And he helped escort many of the spectators to safety. He was called a hero. And then everything changed. I don't know if you ever saw this. The story leaked to the media was that Jewell wasn't a hero at all, but was himself the bomber, who perversely sought publicity for saving people from the explosion. Can you categorically say that you did not do this? I did not do it. The FBI put Jewell under round-the-clock surveillance and conducted a very public search of his apartment, all of it broadcast on live television. Mr. President, please clear my son's name. That clip of Bobby Jewell breaking down when she said, Mr. President, clear my son's name, please, was the lead clip that night on NBC, on ABC, on CBS, and on CNN, and somebody heard it. From hero to falsely accused and finally exonerated the story of a security guard who found a bomb in the 1996 Olympics, and it wasn't until nine years after the bombing that Eric Rudolph was actually convicted. Jules said the media coverage haunted him for the rest of his life. He died at the age of 44. 2012, when Richard had been dead for five years, I was the only one there to turn the lights out. All the other lawyers had left early on in the case when the money stopped coming in and the publicity stopped coming. But here's what I realized a couple of, three, four weeks ago. I was wrong. It was not the end of my duty to Richard Jewell. If I turn the lights out, I need to turn them back on, and I did. And I'm going to ask you to help me do this. I decided that I wanted to have the President of the United States to award Richard Jewell the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest honor the President can bestow on a civilian of this country that did not serve in the military. He needs to do it. It's the right thing to do for the right person at the right time. This country needs to send the message clearly that you need to stand for what Richard Jewell stood for and what I've tried all my life to stand for. We need to stand up for truth and we need to stand up for justice where people are treated fairly and people are treated respectfully because we're all imperfect. We don't deserve more than that. And we don't deserve less. If you're so inclined, I want you to send an email. I want you to get on Twitter. Write him. I know this much about President Trump. He listens.